sticking with provincial politics, Ontario Place is trending for a second day after the Ontario government and the cash-strapped City of Toronto made a deal allowing the Ford government to continue with its controversial redevelopment. The deal will provide the city with up to $1.2 billion in new operating supports over the next three years. It provides billions in capital and operating dollars so we can do more for people. Ontario will take over responsibility for two major Toronto highways, the Don Valley Parkway and the Gardner Expressway. And in exchange, Toronto is allowing the province to take over all responsibility for Ontario Place, which is of course located on the city's lakeshore. The provincial money will allow Toronto to spend on transit, increase police presence on transit vehicles, and provide support for homeless shelters and new subway cars contingent on matching federal support. For more on this, let's bring in Matty Simiatiki. He's the director of the Infrastructure Institute at the University of Toronto and is an expert in large-scale projects and city planning. Matty, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. What does the province want to do with Ontario Place and why has it been controversial? So the province has been looking to revitalize Ontario Place, uh, which fell into a state of disrepair, but has still been a beloved uh, site on the Toronto waterfront uh, with a large amount of uh, park space and uh, a trade of area where people have gone and recreated uh, over the years. Uh, the, the province's view is to bring a new activity there and in particular revenue generating activity. Uh, so one is to uh, expand on the, the, the bandstand uh, and the concert venue. And the more controversial part of the proposal is this mega spa, uh, which uh, would bring a lot more people down to the waterfront, but also would require taking out uh, a, a large uh, amount of the trees uh, that are on that site. So uh, this is why it's been so controversial because of the scale of the building, the number of trees and questions really about whether this is the right location uh, for a project of that scale when it's been such an important piece of heritage and an important piece of uh, parkland for the city. Developer Therme Canada behind that spa you mentioned. From a city planning perspective, are there any red flags with the plan? Yeah, the scale of the building is uh, is very large for the waterfront. Uh, there are uh, uh, hundreds of trees that would have to be cut down, um, access to the waterfront, uh, and uh, the parking garage underneath it had been hugely controversial as well. Uh, uh, hundreds of parking spots, uh, so that this was still going to be very auto-oriented uh, in the way that it was designed. Um, and then also just uh, uh, the, the privatization of public land and, and a lack of transparency about what's been in that deal uh, has been also hugely controversial uh, as it relates to this plan too. So um, there's been a lot of contention around it, uh, and it's kind of been winding its way through uh, the system uh, uh, over the past few years, and uh, and now it's it's come to a head a little bit. Based on your expertise, do you think the province's plan is a good one? Uh, I think it has significant shortcomings, just in terms of the scale of the building and the uh, what it does to the trees along that site. Um, it's. The, the idea of of, of uh, having a new recreation activity uh, and and uh, water park essentially is not a bad idea, but it's 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 not really the right location. Uh, it would be better somewhere else, even at on at, at the exhibition just across the street would probably be a better location for the entire uh, uh, spa. Uh, but nevertheless, the province does control that land, and uh, it is called Ontario Place for a reason, uh, and they have the control to be able to move it forward. And uh, the deal that was struck yesterday. Uh, reaffirms their uh, position in the driver's seat to be able to move that project forward. Do you think the province taking over the DVP and Gardner and providing extra money for transit will sufficiently help Toronto overcome its financial challenges? It's certainly a good start. Uh, the city of Toronto is in a real financial hole. Uh, it has about a $1.5 billion budget shortfall for an order of government that's not allowed to run deficits. So it's really uh, in a financial pinch. Uh, this plan, the upload, uh, creates a significant, uh, takes a significant budget uh, uh, line item off of their balance sheet. Uh, and it also there's also other investments that will help uh, contribute to the city. So in that sense, this is uh, an important step and a positive step for the city of Toronto. It doesn't solve the city's entire budget shortfall, uh, but it certainly is a start. And both the province and the city are now going to be looking to the federal government to come to the table with additional resources to help fill some of that gap uh, as well. 
That's Matty Simiatecki, Director of the Infrastructure Institute at the University of Toronto. Matty, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me.